start my new job on Monday. It's actually Wednesday today. I didn't vlog Monday and Tuesday. Today is another mother-daughter day. We are going... We're having like a TK Maxx day. I just love a good bargain. I love the vibes in there. If you guys didn't know, we're getting our downstairs done at the moment. So we're just completely redecorating and on the lookout for new furniture. I wish I had time to put falsies on, but I can just, I never have the time to do that. It's always just mascara. My mum was like, this is your 10 minute warning. And she said that like 10 minutes ago. So yeah. Also guys, two vlogs ago, I had my lip filler dilemma where I went to that consultation and I didn't even ask you guys to fish for compliments, but it ended up looking like I did because everyone was like, you don't need it. Like your lips are so nice. And I was like, oh God, it looks like I've just been fishing for compliments. I genuinely didn't mean to. In fact, I wanted more people to tell me to go for it so that I'd go for it. But most people said, don't do it. So my, my final verdict is not yet. I think inevitably I will one day get lip filler, probably. Because I'm really not opposed to cosmetic treatments at all. Like I, as I said in that video, I've had nose filler, I've had chin filler, I've had jaw filler. And I'm not, I'm never going to get jaw filler again. I do not like jaw filler. So I'm really not opposed to it and I probably will one day, but I just feel like right now it's not a priority for me. And like, it's not cheap. It's 220 pounds. Something like that. I'm just going to hold off on it. It's just not, yeah, it's just not a, um, where the fuck is Athens? Oh my god. Where is Athens? I lost my lipstick. <laughs> I want something lighter in the middle. Crying out loud. Where is it? I've literally lost Athens. God, where is she? That's not what I want either. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it now. Um, do we like my necklaces? These are both from Ana Luisa and then this I got for Christmas. I'm just wearing this brown rib top. I'll show you in the mirror because it's easier. Okay guys, this is the fit. These are the cargos I got at the end of the last vlog and they're like adjustable on the waist so you don't get that like you don't get that gap we're here but we're not where i thought we'd be never i want it right when dad used to take me on ben's birthday Birthday, did it? Because I was jealous. Do do the man. One week, every day. Throwing down. See? Wind swept. But not the messages. It says. What's it say? What's it say? Sponge clean. Oh, guys, I was gonna get this it like supports your lower back when you're sitting on your bed but my mum said no because you can't wash it that'd be good for Alfie Alfie should have his own little sofa can you imagine <laughs> have you ever thought about getting an air fryer <laughs> you're ahead of the trend oh my god now I'm obsessed look at the bunny <gasps> I've got two bunnies as well at home. Can you wash this? No. no. Why do they not make things that you can wash? Oh. What's that? 
20 B list strings lights. Mum, to put where? In your room, like a teenager. <laughs> okay, what about these football ones? You put a football on dad's side, <laughs> the bees on your side of the bed. Oh, yeah, two, that's the net curtains. Okay, <laughs> curtains is 2 meters 76. Yes, PVC truck, PVC. Guys, this is the carpet we got for downstairs apparently. I like it. Yeah, it's not the one upstairs is a bit more like grey toned, right? You could see grey. It, oh, it is grey. Yeah, upstairs is silver color. Yeah. Right, I like this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I prefer yeah, this. Okay, that was it. Now I'm going to Home Sense. Guys. This is basic, but my favorite section is the candles. Just miss sitting on sofas. <laughs> We're so sick of sitting on our beds all the time. <sighs> Mm. I'm impulsively buying this. It just sounds good. I just have so many random things. Smell it. Oh, we need good to be shaking. Massive as well. sure what to make of this um, I ended up getting this cream from TK Maxx it's the uh, Egyptian magic I heard about this for a long time but never bought it because you guys might know I was vegan for a very long time and this isn't vegan because I think it's got honey in it and bee pollen really hydrating and that's why I bought it because oh my god I'm gonna zoom you guys in on my face do you guys see that? I don't even have blemishes around here. It's just so dry. And it was $12.99 in TK Maxx. Retails for $22.99. did start watching The Real Housewives because everyone talks about how iconic it is. I see clips on YouTube, TikTok. So I started watching Real Housewives of Atlanta because everyone says that's the best one. That one and Beverly Hills. So I started with Atlanta. I'm just gonna get a snack and watch some Real Housewives. Guys, also I uploaded a picture on Instagram yesterday and this guy commented on it. He's commented on my stuff before, I think, or messaged me, I recognized his name. And he said, can I touch it, your hair? Okay, Lenny, from of mice and men. I'm not Carly's wife. You, no, you cannot touch my hair. You guys, our kitchen lights have just stopped working. So we're using, our builder has these like lights. So I am just making dinner. Um, I pretty much haven't done anything since coming back from the gym. Um, I ate, I had a shower and I had a long ass nap i was not expecting it to be so long but i just passed out and it was one of those where like i woke up and i felt nauseous i don't know i just don't think napping really agrees with me my long distance bestie nish just messaged me saying she's free for an hour if i want to call her so i'm gonna call her right now because i just don't get the chance i don't i can't remember the last time i saw nish she hearing her voice it's like that's my bestie I fucking miss you, bitch. If you're watching this, I fucking miss you. Ah, oh, that's not on. Guys, the last time I saw her was in July. July. So it's been like six, seven months. Ew, that's not right. I'm just about to sort out my wardrobe. But this drawer down here, oh, you can't see it, is full of my gym clothes. Um, And it's just a fucking mess. It's so overflown that it's like 
pushing up the shelf here. Okay guys, I'm just doing my skincare. I've seen people use it on TikTok and they say they use it as like slugging that much. That might even be too much again. And then you just warm it between your fingers so it becomes like an oil. You can use it like literally everywhere on your lips, on your hair apparently, like a hair mask. Hey guys. Oh my god. <gasps> this tripod is broken. Happy Friday. <laughs> Go to the gym, hit legs. It's the second leg day of the week. I am either on my way or on my way back going to pick up a vintage order. So I said in my last vlog with Alice when I tried vintage shopping and it just did not work for me that I wanted to buy more secondhand clothing, which is why I tried vintage shopping. Um, I do want to buy more secondhand clothing because it's just better for the environment. It's cheaper. It's... You know, I sell a lot on Vinted, so I want to be like a buyer as well. So I've actually made some purchases and they're all getting delivered. I've had my first one delivered today. It's a really cute bag, so I want to unbox it with you guys. Um, so yeah, that's my Friday. I've just been trying to get back into a routine, guys. I know waking up at 5 a.m. on Monday is going to hit me like a fucking train. What time did I get up today? Half eight. I set my alarm for half seven. I just could not get up at half seven. I don't know how I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. on Monday. And I could get my into a routine over the weekend, but I know I'm going out Saturday night, which means I'm not going to be able to get up early Sunday morning, which means that Monday morning I'm going to be so tired. So, yeah, kind of screwed, but... It's fine. I'll shock my body back into a routine, I think. I'll just have to force it. Because uh, I'll be so tired end of Monday. Oh, but then I have volunteering, so I can't even sleep early Monday night. Yeah, next week is just going to be tiring. But it's fine. I've received my induction timetable. And I really don't have a lot going on for the first few weeks of my job. Because it's all like induction and training. I don't actually start my role properly. Um... But you guys won't believe this. But let me just say that I haven't signed a contract. And they've got back to me saying this is normal, that they have people starting. Quite a few people start without um, without having a contract signed straight away. Um, I was, you know, my friend who I called last night, Nish, she works in HR. So I was asking her, I was like, that is not normal, is it? She was like, babe, why did you quit your old job without signing a contract first? I said, because they gave me an unconditional offer. She said, babes, this isn't you, Cass. <laughs> what do you mean, unconditional offer? Where's your fucking contract? Like, you need a contract. I emailed them this morning, like, I can't start on Monday without a contract. She said, I'm going to need you to confirm in writing that I'm going to get paid from the 27th of February without a contract being signed they're missing a piece of information from me which i handed in a month ago why didn't they tell me a month ago this isn't sufficient they're telling me a few days before i start oh we can't get the contract signed until you give this information because the information you gave a month ago was not sufficient why didn't you tell me then i could have sorted it by now we could have had a contract signed. This isn't the, the actual team that I'm going to be starting in. This is just the HR department for that NHS trust. This is giving cash in hand kind of vibes. This is giving I'm going to be starting at the cafe down the road. But yeah, let's go to the gym and let's get my new handbag. You guys, my AirPods have fucking died midway through my workout. So I'm just gonna do a short inversion. I'm just about to do leg extensions, like for your quads. And I'm going quite heavy on this now. I'm up to 97 and the machine goes up to 111. So I feel like I probably max it out for one rep. Okay guys, workout is done. Um, I'm just gonna get some groceries and then I'm gonna go and hunt down a Lloyd's Bank branch so that I can get this bank statement that apparently I didn't provide correctly a month ago and no one told me three days before starting my job. This leg day just then was not great. Um, my AirPods died like an hour into my workout. So um, I cut out two exercises because I was like, I can't. 
I go. And then I didn't do cardio because I was like, I can't. There is there is no way I can do cardio without my music. Really like Zara's bags. And obviously I got it for a really reasonable price because it was just off of Vinted. It's in good condition. I just feel like it's simple, looks cute. It's got like quite a lot of space. Like I feel like I could fit my vlogging camera in here if I wanted to. Apparently cooking in the dark. Lighting has downgraded from yesterday. I don't know where my builder's like ring light went. Downgraded to just like two lamps. Um, I showered, I've done my skincare. I feel so fresh. I feel like a baby, literally. My hair feels so clean. I just feel so clean, you know, and I shaved as well. I'm gonna fake tan before bed. Um, and we've decided we're gonna have a horror movie night.